Hi everyone, welcome to my corner of the internet where we are once again playing some more Fatal Frame 4, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Last time we, um, we, we arrived here, or actually, no, we didn't arrive. We were doing stuff here at the temple. Uh, is it the temple? I think it's called the Temple of the, the Lunar Eclipse. Uh, we fought a ghost out here in the open, um, room. We went exploring further in, uh, to find more answers. And then I had to turn back and go back to the save point because, hey, <laughs> I needed to go. And, um, this isn't an emulator, so there's no save states. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, today we're gonna go and, uh, continue on with, uh, our investigation into the spookiness. Um, honestly, you know, one thing that's been bothering me, and I, I something I've got, that makes me definitely want to replay this game, um, like, like immediately after I finish it the first time, uh, is, uh, I really want to see if, um, the last bit we had with Misaki was, uh, an actual choice. Um, because where she's like, do I, do I go forward or do I stay back? Uh, and, um, we went, we went forward because we wanted the truth. And I'm happy we got the truth. I feel like we got answers, and I'm definitely glad uh, that we uh, we took that path. Um, but like, I, I hope nothing happened to Miss uh, Misaki. Uh, I I really like Misaki. Uh, I hope I'm getting her name right because if I'm if I'm getting it wrong, I'm gonna feel like an absolute like butt. I'm gonna feel uh, terror bad. I'm gonna feel. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna be like. I, I I'm gonna be so embarrassed. I'm just gonna like. Um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete my entire Let's Play. Yep, it's all going to be, it's, I'm gonna delete the entire thing. Um, we have no notes on Misaki? Really? Wait, hold on. Okay, it is Misaki. Woo! I don't have to delete my entire, my entire Let's Play. <laughs> Alright, let's go down the stairs and, uh, this is where we fought, um, there was a ghost that dropped down from the ceiling. Um, and, uh, we had stopped by a door. That's right, we were... ...following someone, weren't we? Like, was it, was our, wasn't it our father? So It was Soya or something, wasn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. We're, we're, we're delving into Ruka's past a little bit here. Nice. Door creak. Alright, what have we got? down here. Ooh, nice ominous hallway. I like it. Holy crap! <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm walking down. I'm like, you know what? At the beginning of the Let's Play, I was like looking out windows and everything, and I was like, you know, I stopped doing that. I start getting a little careless with my, my exploration a bit. I'm like, I wonder if there's anything out the window. And it's like I turn and <laughs> by chance it just happens to be the, the, the doll, and it scared me because I was not expecting there to be the doll there. <laughs> uh, I don't know why there'd be anything outside because it's we're underground, right? So why is there light coming in from here? Oh, I guess maybe there's I don't know. <laughs> okay, well now now I'm like I'm leery of all the other things because I'm like if they're if they're gonna hide a doll there then. Anything else? Wow. That, I would have, I would have totally missed that doll. Like, that is one of those things where I actually start to get paranoid, because I'm like, um... That's one of those things where I'm like, oh man, people are gonna think I looked that up and I knew it was there, or something like that. Eh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, uh, wait, do I want to go through that door? There's a door there. Entrance to the sh uh, Shugen temple. All right, let's uh, keep going. I'm like, part of me is like, I already, I already found the doll. I, I don't know what else I'd be finding looking over there. It's not like this filament. <gasps> oh, the starting. I must be starting. I must be preparing the bat. That. Holy crap! I have it. Okay, that was that was uh. I was so distracted that that one, um, 
I felt that one in my chest. Holy crap, that scared me. I was not expecting it to... Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Well, we're already off to a great start. Um, I, I scared myself with a doll, and then I... Um... Okay, so do I go through that door? I'm guessing this door here is... Okay. The ghost went through that door, which uh, I'm... I'm led to believe that that is the, um, we'll say the, I guess we'll call it the critical path, the main path. I want to see what happens if we try to go to the big door. Um. Right now. Is it going to be locked? It's not. Whoa, what? Girl in pain on altar. Oh, maybe I should go the other way. Um, okay, we'll go in here for, for now, I guess. <laughs> Investigate the inner chamber? Is that that way? Oh man, maybe this is the, the, the quest path. Okay, there's items in here. Okay, I'll grab the items and then I'm gonna go back and try the other door. Darn it! Offerings of wine and food have been placed by the altar. The food has decomposed beyond all recognition. Tasty. Uh, uh yeah, that's nice and all, but I want to grab the item. Got type zero film. Uh, okay. What is... Secrets of the Shugen Temple. Found an old book. All right. The mask of the vessel must have inside it a face removed from a deceased person who buddeth not. That face being placed in the Shugen Temple must bathe in the light of the moon for one night. In the chamber of the mask artisan, the face is peeled off the body of the deceased and then so tanned. All the while, the moon's light must shine upon it. Okay, so that's... Ooh, that's, that's creepy. So the masks are made with people's faces? That's why they're removing people- oh. The altar adorned with Rogetsu engravings enshrines a female mask. The snow white surface of the mask is cracked like rock. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, this is, this is eerie. I, you know what? It's, it's hard. It's, it, like, the more I played number three, the more I was like, man, I really like number three. But the more I'm playing number four, I'm like, more, man, I'm really liking number four. But I'm wondering, is that the mystery aspect? Because I tend to really, uh, get sucked in with, like, aspects I don't understand. I love piecing th together puzzles. And... Ooh, actually, that's uh, so, uh, that's an element. Uh, it's a, a um, something I hadn't considered. Because you know, I've been trying to finalize, you know, what what my favorites are. Um, Thirty blue spear stones. Um, and I find the ones that are hitting lower on the list, or, or I'm having a harder time keeping up, are ones that I've figured out entirely. Ones with uh, less, we'll say, for science, um, left to do on them. Okay. This place. Is this my home? Holy crap! Okay, no, maybe I was supposed to go- Oh, there was a door I didn't check. Okay! Okay! Uh, I was not expecting to get to the end of the chapter, but... Well, here we are. At the end of the chapter, saving the game. So that's the end of chapter 9. So we are now entering chapter 10. 
Okay, who are, who are we playing as in chapter 10? Alright, I'm really curious. It's probably Choshiro, but I want to go back to Misaki. I need to know what happened with Misaki. So, ah, uh, yeah, it's probably Choshiro. Summary! While investigating Hibata Infirmary, Choshiro discovers that the procedures performed on its patients were both inhumane and illegal. They were being used as test subjects by Director Sh uh, Shigeto Haibara. To some unknown end, Shigeto's son Yo was also complicit in these crimes. But why was Shigeto so obsessed with finding a cure for Moonlight Syndrome? Sister? The biggest clue so far is the Regetsu Kagura ceremony. What with the Kagura being uh, the cause of the Moonlight Syndrome in so many patients, the Haibara is believed that its masks and music held the key to a cure. The Kagura was also being held on the day of the girl's disappearances, ten years ago. Is this more than just a coincidence? And who is the woman in the disturbing picture painted by one of the patients of Regretsu Hall? Fallen Petals, Choshiro Kirishima Alright, we're back here. Oh. Part of me kind of hates that I have to like retake, uh, refigure out what inventory I'm using, and like I'm like, oh, okay, what what lenses do I have available again? What's this? Um. It makes each chapter change a little bit jarring. Vision of oblivion. Really? That looks like the like the garden. <laughs> Something has appeared in the photo. The scene. It seems familiar. Yeah, we we saw it up on the. Um, yeah. Two years after the last festival, I came here in pursuit of Haibara. I saw that woman, and I can't remember after that. Alright, so... Let's, um... I guess we, we want to go to the, the, the garden area. Uh, Yoku uh, Magaki's painting notes. This is his diary, Magaki, the artist who stayed in this room. The visions continue to bring me more and more masterpieces, and since I have come to Rogetsu Hall, they have only increased in the beauty of their finality. For instance, take my piece entitled, Five Girls Seeking Light. It depicts those naive and foolish girls crying for help, while oblivious to their crime. A mixture of hope and despair, the weight of the task in which they are burdened. Such beautiful girls. This piece can truly be called the embodiment of my visions. And now the visions spread endlessly before my eyes, and then there is nothing. These visions are the flowers of salvation. Yes, they bring about the salvation that we have been waiting for. We will all be saved by our own annihilation. Bright, blinding annihilation will bloom over this island. All filth and dirtiness will blossom. Stop ye and witness the flower woman. See her face filled with the beauty of annihilation. The face with no face. The flower of annihilation. Come, 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 come! Yugo uh, Magaki profile is added to our notebook. Okay, um... Yeah, I think we want to go back down to the, um... Actually, down to the second floor. Because it looked like the picture was taken from, um, an elevated position. So I'm kind of wondering if... Um... My dear sister, Yo entering gallery. Wait, didn't we already get him? Entering the gallery? Well, when you see a ghost, you gotta follow the ghost. Them's the rules. Oh, wait. Maybe now we can go back to where that book was. Yo, looking at picture. She will awaken. Yep, there it is. Black notebook number three. I think this is Yo Haibara's notebook. How long will my sister be asleep? I've tried everything to cure her. I've dirtied my hands with illegal, unethical experiments. Well, that's a confession. I even performed the rite of descent, the ceremony that legends say brought about the day of tranquility. 
but the rite failed, and now my sister is trapped in limbo, halfway between, between life and death. What went wrong? What was missing? Why did I come all this way? It would be easier for me if I could just forget all of this. The only hope I have left is in this painting. Everyone else is frightened of it, but standing before it, I feel a sense of peace and calm. My sister will awaken. One day, she will awaken. There's a key in the notebook. It says Rogetsu Hall B1F on it. Ebony key. I'm trying to think of where, where that would lead. Is that the, the door we, we weren't allowed to go through? No. Yeah, it is. No. A key for the basement. That's where that woman came from. What could be in there? Oh, that's right. We did see her come up the like the concrete steps. Okay, there's something here. Filament says there's something. I can't get the flashlight on. Okay, wait. Whoa, I am so turned around. Whoa! Why is there a wheelchair behind us? That's not a great sign. Whoa. There's like an open area above us. Is there anything down at our feet? No. Can we just look at the, uh, the picture? Is that what it is? Like, examine? The woman in this picture. I feel like... Like I know her from somewhere. Yuko Magaki, picture of woman in red is added to the notebook. Oh, okay, this painting. These five girls. This looks like that place underneath the infirmary. Yuko Magaki Paintings is added. Alright. Are, are we gonna have another run in with the uh, wheelchair? Uh... I don't remember what the different uh, power-ups are. I think blue, uh, sorry, green was the um, the lock-on. No, green was uh, to help me with chains. That felt too easy. Yeah, that felt too easy. Something is lying where the ghost disappeared. Kagari Sendo's letter. I found a letter. A day of piercing sunshine. I was sitting on the veranda in the courtyard when it appeared. That's where we want to go. It came up the steps, and the air in the country yard, uh, courtyard sorry, froze. The one with no face, the one who is dead yet walks, the one with no face looked at a man standing in the garden. His face was destroyed. Those who saw his face had their faces destroyed, and the one with no face went inside the hall as though nothing had happened. It begins. For the first time in my life, I, who was born to die, felt a rush of exhilaration. It begins. It has begun. I feel that nervous feeling of anticipation, like a child fe feels before their first trip, away from home to a faraway, unfamiliar place. Let's go a little further than usual for today's walk, somewhere we haven't been in a while. Shall we head to the bench? Or the beach? Beach! I can't read today! Okay, wait, so green... No, it's not the lock-on. Green is the, um... So we can increase our chains. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I, like, I gotta keep remembering. All right, so we got blue is focus. Allows you to... Okay, so it's... It's just, um... Blue is like a big blast, so we want to use that during fights. And we'll keep the yellow on for the time being so we can take... Pictures! All right. So we want to leave the... Gallery the way we came... Yeah, we're gonna leave this uh, area, head back downstairs, probably to the second, second floor, uh, so we can, um, they said it off on the veranda, right? We'll go over there, and that's where we should be able to see 
Um, some horribleness. See the, uh, lady destroy some faces. I was gonna say, and that's where Choshiro will have his face destroyed and he will die. But no, it'll be reflected by his cool shades. <laughs> That'd be awesome. It's like, it's gonna, like, destroy his face, but, like, the glasses have, like, this reflect effect on them and it just bounces, uh, bounces it back. And she's like, no, and she gets destroyed. Uh, that would make me laugh. Um, but no, we, we, we've got the key so, to the basement, so we know where Toshiro eventually has to end up. Uh, but I do want to go to the veranda. The veranda? Why do I keep saying veranda? The veranda? It's veranda? Ver- ooh. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> type your pronunciation down in the- <laughs> It's- uh, the idea of typing pronunciation sounds funny to me because... Typing, you typically don't have pronunciation. But I know that you can emphasize things in text and you can still explain it, but it still sounded funny to me. Yep, sure. Things. Okay. Um, just because I know that this door is really close. And then we can just use the stairs anyways. Um, to get down all the rest of the way. Go to the veranda. So she comes up from the, um, the concrete part down there and then destroys everyone's faces and then moves into the place. Uh, I don't see anything. Huh. All right. Well, I don't see anything. Oh, wait. Examine. Is that the, the stairs? Is that what I'm examining? The staircase has collapsed. There's no way to get down from here. Hmm. Maybe, um, maybe if I hadn't already gotten the uh, picture with uh, one of the other characters, I would have been able to uh, hear. Not too sure. I'm also trying to figure out how it, it is that uh, Toshiro sees pictures with the flashlight. Like, that part kind of gets hand-waved away, like, eh, well, whatever. But, like, <laughs> part of it does sort of bother me a bit. It's like, how, though? You gotta have some explanation for that, right? Is it just like, does the image just like, get, get psychically beamed into his head? Yeah, that's my guess. Oh. That's the way down, right? That's how you get down to the forbidden door thing, but... Okay. They want us to go to the courtyard first. From the ground floor, perhaps. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we'll go to the courtyard from the ground floor. And that should then lead us to the next place or something. I don't know. That would be kind of a, a, a fun twist, though. It's like Toshiro goes out and he just has his like face destroyed. and It's like chapter over. It's like, oh, OK, we never we never get a chance to use that key. No, we just bring the, the key here so that like Ruka can pick it up. Off his dead body. I don't know. Ah, uh, here we go. Feeling. Don't look. 
this time. I don't think I can just run away. Oh. Are you, uh... Are you, uh, trying to, uh, t tell me something here? That I can't just run away, that I have to fight this time? I guess so. Alright, come on. Oh, darn it. Where are you? Come on. Oof. Wait, is that it? Holy crap, the, the flashlight is overpowered. <laughs> Search the area where the woman in red came from. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go down. Oh, okay. It wants us to go down this way. So we take the concrete path down to the basement. That'll lead us to the uh, the forbidden door thing. Okay, that that's what's going on. There we go. A little bit of funneling going on because they, they have a specific experience they have uh, prepared for us. Although if this takes me exactly to where the other stairs would have taken me, then the only thing that it really did was give us that fight in the courtyard, which I w I'm actually surprised with how quickly that one went. Oh, filaments doing a thing. What do we got here? Found a tape, Trochito's investigation notes number six. Well, we've gotta hear that. Uh, let's go under, keep forgetting, is it files or records? It's fi it's records, it's records. Voices. Um, tapes. Toshiro's investigation notes number six. A tape recorded by Toshiro on his return to the island two years after the Kagura. September 17th, arrived at Rogatsu Isle. Recording a tape as soon as I get here. Can't shake my old detective habits. Rogetsu Isle. I haven't been here in two years. I've had word that Yo Haibara is on the island. No mistake this time. Well, it feels right to me. And when you have your instincts, what else do you need? If Haibara was going to hide anywhere, it would probably be this island. It's so quiet here. This place has been abandoned ever since the Kagura incident two years ago. People from the nearby islands view the place with a superstition, superstitious something. It's so hot. The summer heat lingers into autumn like an unwelcome guest something, something. Holy crap, slow down. But there's no wind at all. The air is completely still. Feels like time has been stopped. A single second drawn out. What? What the hell happened here? They're all covering their faces with their hands. Her face. Can't see her face. Her face. Hibata. I see. It's all clear now. Sayaka. You want to clear it up for us? Past Trishiro? So it sounds like he came back before this time and he met ghosts, but he I guess he didn't have the flashlight because that was given to him by um, Ruka's mother, right? Huh. Uh, crap, I got turned around. I think it's this way, right? I could check the map, but 
I'd rather just take a chance on it. And... Crap, I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, I, I went the wrong way. Darn it! Okay. Does he sniff when he opens the door? Like, I hear this noise, like... I think this room scares me so much, uh, the, the one through here, because of, uh, it's like the one time I died, right? Was that the only time? I think it was. How long am I supposed to sit here watching the door? I sit here and the whole time she's asleep in there. How could she even still be alive in that state? I think she's gonna wake up one day, she'll wake up and the door will open. The door. Oh, hello. Wait. Wait. Wait, where are you? She opened the door, right? But where is she? Okay, I'm kind of freaked out right now. Is this a bug or is this just different ghost behavior? Um... Bug? I'm gonna go with Bug. Can I pick up the item? On duty nurse's notes. There's a nurse log- no, nurse's logbook here. Earlier in my shift I dozed off and had a decidedly vivid dream. In the dream I was standing in front of that door. The one behind which she sleep- she lies- Can you be quiet for a second? I'm trying to read. The one behind which she lies deep in sleep safely locked away. I think I hear something. I listen hard. There it is, very faint. What is it? A breeze blowing? Breathing? No. It's someone singing. Suddenly, the door starts to open. Behind that door is supposed to be my patient, a woman lying asleep on the verge of death. Supposedly. The door, which should have been secured, securely locked, opens with a sickening screech. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I shouldn't look, but I can't help myself. I peer th through the crack in the door. Eyes. Dull red eyes. What is it? I don't understand. What is that face? What is it? Um, alright, which door was it that was open? I feel like it was this one. Are you behind the- are you behind door number one? Okay, maybe not. Let's try door number two. Um... Okay, we'll just carry on, I guess. I'm so- I'm so confused. I think that was bugged, right? That had to- that had to have been bugged. Use the ebony key. Alright, let's see what we- what have we got back here. Hello? Ooh. It's like an open prison door. Okay. Um let's... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say there's something over here. 
Note by Court Guardian. There's an old notebook here. Preparations for harvesting is complete, but the chief has yet to give his permission. We must obey the legend. If there be one who has budded, harvest ye the face of the corpse. Tear it off, for without a face they cannot blossom. Ugh. We are forbidden from harvesting as long as she continues to breathe. But who would say this woman is really alive? True, she still has breath in her, but just barely. A frosty atmosphere envelops her, freezing the air in one's lungs, and that burning smell that clogs the nostrils. Nothing can mask it. But she has lasted long in this state. Too long, I think. She is as the dead, and the time is come to harvest. We are under instructions not to touch her, not to call her name, but I can feel my fear take hold of me. We must harvest this woman's face. We must harvest this woman's face. I don't know how much longer I can suppress this urge to act. Uh, uh, you know, I get, I, I get urges sometimes, but it's usually to eat chips. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't think I've ever really got the urge to harvest someone's face, but all right. <laughs> you you know whatever you want to do in your own free time, yeah, you do you. But like face harvesting is it's not um not my thing. Blue one blue spirit stone. Why is it what? You know what that one tells me? Oh no, I hope that that's not what that tells me. It makes me go. Okay, are they randomized? Do you get randomized numbers of uh, spirit stones when you uh, grab items? Or are they always set amounts? Because why would they just give you one? It just seems so... <laughs> Whew! Got 15 red spirit stones. What is that? Joshiro? Sayaka. Sayaka. How? That mask fragment. Give it to Ruka. It's very important. But where is Ruka? She's there. In the place where you found her long ago. There's not much time. Please. Sayaka! Choshiro. You've saved me again. Give the mask fragment to Ruka Minazuki. Alright, that's the objective. Um... So was that like, is she dead? Is she a ghost? Or is that some sort of like astral projection? Note from someone. Found a piece of paper with something scrawled on it. The moon reflected the moon. A deep, silent forest. There is nothing. Let us meet again. Let us meet again. All right, let's grab the mask piece. This is the mask fragment Sayaka was talking about. This is the key to saving Ruka. Question mark? Black mask fragment is added. Um, can we go through this way? Yeah, wh what is this? The thick door is shut tight, preventing entry into the room. The uh, acrid stench of mold and ointment emanates from behind the door. Huh. Okay, so we've got to go, um, where Ruka is. I don't remember how to get there. Oh, it's, um, infirmary, right? We're in R R Rigetsu Hall, but we need to get to underneath the infirmary to get to where- Okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'm piecing together where, uh, my, my path. Okay. This again. You're going to attack me as soon as I leave this, aren't you? Okay. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to run. Black and white means run. I wish I could come up with a, a saying that rhymed and was also true, but, um... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, run the other way. No, you're running right back towards her. 
unlock the door. Can we open the door? No! She's right there! Run! 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 Don't die! Hit the save point! Get to the save point! We got to the save point! We did it! We beat the game! We're done! I'm turning this off! <laughs> I seriously am. Uh, uh, one, because I'm out of time, but two, because I, my, my heart... I, I can only take so much. Uh, no, it's mostly because I'm just out of time. Um, but, but it's more dramatic if I'm like, Oh my god, I almost died for real! Because there's real stakes there. You're like, oh no! Am I going to be able to complete? Are, are we going to finish the Let's Play? No, we don't know. I might die. I might not finish it. Oh, God. I hope I, I, hope I survive. <laughs> uh, anyways, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Next time, uh, like I said, we think we're going to head over to the infirmary and try to retrace Ruka's steps. And get back to where she is. We'll probably end up fighting a bunch of ghosts with the flashlight, which is kind of crazy. Um, kind of crazy overpowered. And um, yeah. But until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.